Hi, it's Nell, and today I'm hanging out on the curb in my front yard so I can tell you all about how to take care of the, the jade plant, both indoors and outdoors. Now this just happens to be a miniature jade. I'm going to show you my, my bigger jade in the back, the one that goes by jade plant. And you care for them the same way. They prefer full sun to part sun. As you can see, this one's a little bit in the shade. It's going to get in the sun again in about a couple of hours. So it's sort of growing this way because this is where it gets most of the sun. And it doesn't like hot, hot burning sun. So if you're someplace like inland California or the desert in Arizona, it's going to burn in the sun. So when I say, say full sun, I mean more of, of the coastal sun here in, um, in, in California where I am. In terms of watering, I have my garden on drip and it gets watered every 10 to 14 days in the spring, summer, and fall. I have the drip off now, but I need to turn it back on soon because we're dry. It's the end of February and we haven't had much rain here so I'm gonna turn it back on and pruning it hardly takes any pruning you can prune it to propagate it um, I'm not going to talk about the propagating too much here because I've done a video and a post on propagating succulents I will leave the link to that in the description down below for you because you propagate them just just the same and in terms of maintenance it's easy as you can see it hardly has a yellow leaf on it I haven't I haven't plucked anything off it at all so it's a very very easy plant to maintain and the reason you don't want to overwater this I mean you do you don't want to overwater any plant in general but succulents store a lot of water in their fleshy leaves and stems so if you overwater them they will mush out really fast. In terms of fertilizers, I don't fertilize. I just use a compost and I use worm castings. I use worm castings when I plant and I compost my garden every two to three years. So that's all it gets. Indoors, it's a little different story, but we'll go into that later on. And in terms of pests, I have never had any pests on my jade plants out in the garden. But again, indoors, it's, it's, it's a different story, so I'll cover that in just a bit. And in terms of soil, they like a very well-drained soil like all succulents do. This, um, I amended these beds uh, with a lot of sandy loam, which really loosened up the soil. If you were doing them in pots, which I have some in pots, I use a succulent and cactus mix just to make sure that the water drains through and doesn't hold in the soil. Indoors, this is a really easy care house plant. It's a very popular house plant too. So it likes really bright, full sun, as much, as much light as you can give it without being in a hot burning window. You don't want it up against any hot glass or anything like that, but you want to give it sun, sun, sun. And it only needs to be watered maybe every three to four weeks indoors. People tend to over water their house plants and because this is a succulent you want to go easy on the liquid love as I say and make sure there's no water sitting in the saucer either because you don't want any to build up down below and you want to make sure the saucer doesn't have anything in it. In terms of fertilizing well, once a year we'll do it. You can use a liquid organic house plant fertilizer like um, Organic RX is a good one. Just do it once a year in either spring or summer. You never want to fertilize your house plants in the winter because they are resting at that point. So don't do that. And I told you about pests. I, I did refer to that. And the thing that they get indoors is mealybug. It's a white cottony insect and it uh, is best taken care of with either rubbing alcohol, apple cider vinegar, or something like neem oil. But I cover that in 
our book, Keep Your House Plants Alive, I have a whole section on pests, so you can refer to that in the book on um, how to how to treat mealybug. These are really easy care plants, as you can see. As I said, indoors or out, you don't have to do all that much to them. It's um, really a good plant. It's a great house plant for people who travel because you don't have to water them too often. And here's the jade that you're probably familiar with, the larger one. These two I got as big cuttings down in San Diego. One was given to me and one I found on the street. And this one actually here in Santa Barbara growing outdoors, it can get to be six to seven feet tall. I just wanted to show you my variegated jade because I wasn't quite sure if you um, know that there is a variegated jade. This one grows in more shade as you can see and outdoors it does need more shade. Inside, however, it takes a lot of light. This is my silver dollar jade. All the botanic names will be in the blog post that goes along with this. The link will be down below. And as you can see, it has a very different leaf and a very different leaf color. Mine is growing in a bit of shade, just like the variegated jade. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And please subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming your way. So get out in the garden and make the world a more beautiful place. Thanks. Bye.